After a year of using Rocketbook's Everlast and now Fusion Notebooks, I've accumulated some tips and tricks that I wanted to share in this video. I'll do my best to link all of the products I talk about in the description below, so please consider using these links when you make your purchase to help support this channel. Also, if you're buying directly from Rocketbook, you can use my link and referral code to save 10%. So let's get into it. The first thing you may notice when using the Everlast notebooks is that writing feels very slick using the mandatory Pilot Friction pens, and that the lines you're creating are very thin if you keep the pen perpendicular to the page while writing. Since your pen options are limited, I recommend playing around with the angle of your writing to change the pen on paper feel as well as the line thickness. Writing lightly and on a bit more of an angle also makes it less likely that you'll scratch the surface coating on the Everlast notebooks, which will extend their lifespan. Also, while you're limited to using the Pilot Friction products, you can expand to more than just the pens. The Friction line offers highlighters and markers as well, which can add a little bit more color and organization to your note taking. I would only caution you to let the pen ink dry before using highlighters, and again, use light pressure to avoid smudging the ink under the dampness of the highlighter fluid. I also recommend starting notes on the back side of pages if you think it's going to extend into a second page. This allows more time for the ink on the first page to dry. It won't help if you're taking more than a two page note, but it is good to get into the habit of doing this for shorter notes to avoid smudging. The only time I do recommend using a non-friction pen on your Everlast is if you want to create your own custom template using an ultra fine tip permanent marker. This is something I highly recommend to anyone who picks up one of these notebooks, and if you need somewhere to start, there's a ton of creative template ideas available on Pinterest. I really love the simple agenda I made in my original Everlast notebook before recently switching up to the Everlast Fusion, which comes with several predefined templates. If you do use templates, you may also want to consider assigning one of the upload symbols from the page footer to each template that you use. I find this works really well for agendas because I upload quite regularly, keeping only one to two weeks in the notebook at a time, but I still want to have access to that back catalog of information. This is also a good use case for the in-app handwriting recognition that makes notes searchable if you use printed lettering instead of cursive writing, allowing you to find old notes by searching for a phrase in your upload history. If you're on the fence about picking up one of these notebooks, check out the Rocketbook app. It offers a free PDF with nine page templates that you can print on regular paper. This allows you to try out the quick scanning and cloud integrated storage that makes Rocketbook note taking so handy before you actually have to invest in a notebook. One of the most common complaints I've found online is just how challenging it can be to erase mistakes when they pop up on the go using the Everlast notebooks. Since the page coating is vulnerable to friction, I wouldn't recommend using the eraser that comes on the pilot pens unless you have a very light touch and can get to the mistake before it starts to dry. Instead, users on Reddit have suggested using a fine tip water brush pen to dampen the mistake, but not the words around it, before erasing with either a cloth, your finger, or a very light touch from the friction pen's eraser. And I find that this works pretty well. Though it would be great if Rocketbook would release a water brush pen that had a cloth tip on the other end to streamline the process and make erasing even more accurate. While on the topic of erasing your notebook, I recommend that you get in the habit, whether it's daily, weekly, or otherwise, of scanning and then erasing your notebook regularly. You don't want to get caught without a page to write on, and you don't want to leave dry ink in the notebook for more than 30 days because it'll cause discoloration, something I learned the hard way. To get a consistent look with my notes, I try to upload from my desk, where I have an adjustable lamp to evenly light the pages. I find having a consistent scanning space also helps with making the upload routine. That's not to say that I don't scan on the go when necessary. For that, I always keep the included Rocketbook cloth just inside the notebook cover and a small spray bottle for glasses that can be used to dampen the page. When erasing, your cloth will pick up quite a bit of ink, so try to avoid smudging it around on the page by wiping consistently in one direction. Also, if possible, keep a second cloth handy for drying. It speeds up the process and prevents watermarks. Finally, make sure to rinse your cloth out after cleaning so that it's ink free for the next time you need it. It may go without saying, but I wouldn't recommend washing these cloths with your clothes. Another tip is to expedite your uploading process by nesting your document titles inside of double hashtags. This is something I do regularly and even started integrating into my template titles. If you're particular about hashtags ruining the look of your notes, you could alternatively configure custom file naming and email subject templates in the Rocketbook app settings. Though as of now, these create defaults for every scan you make. It would be nice if a future app update allowed you to set separate naming templates for each of the upload locations that correspond to your footer symbols. And on that note, don't feel like you have to upload every single note that you write into your Everlast notebook. 
I often use mine as a surrogate to sticky notes that I would otherwise leave myself and then throw out later. Finally, I've spoken about this in my other videos, but it took me a while to get used to the idea that a multi-page note doesn't have to come from sequential pages in the Everlast notebooks. You can scan them in whatever order you like, so don't be afraid of breaking up a note with a page dedicated to a different idea here and there. And remember, this is your notebook, so use it however suits you best. If you do have other tips and tricks, please leave them in the comments down below so that other people can find them as well. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.